happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to make a dedicated video showing you all how to apply full cover jelly tips um so essentially doing like the a press dupe method the kiara sky jelly tip method yeah i just wanted to make a video showing you all how quick and easy that process is for me so i'm gonna hop right on into this tutorial so you do want to make sure you have a mini led lamp this is going to be really important making sure you get your jelly tips adhered nice fast and easy this one in particular is from Gelin, but there's tons of other kits that have like the same type of lamp. I know Beatles has one similar and a few other brands. I already have my full cover tip sized out. These are like some medium uh, stiletto tips. And so I'm gonna show you all how I apply it. I do have them already sized out from my index finger to my pinky. This makes life easier when you're wanting to just do a set really quick. First thing you're gonna wanna do is prep your natural nails. I do have a dedicated tutorial showing you all how I do my nail prep. Um, so I will link that um, in the description box. I've already done that off camera. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prep my tips. So when you're prepping your tips, you wanna just etch the inside of them. This step isn't really necessary, but it definitely helps with the longevity of the nails. Um, it helps that gel to really adhere to this uh, false tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and etch the inside of all the nails and I'll be right back. Now that all of the inside of the tips have been etched, um, you'll wanna go ahead and go in with a base coat. Typically, brands recommend for you to apply a, a thin layer of whatever extend gel you're using. I'm using the Jello one today, but they normally recommend to apply a thin layer of the extend gel, then cure, then go on with the application process. Um, so you can do that. I'm actually going to pop this set off, so I'm going to be instead using a peel-off base coat. This is one of my favorite peel off base coats, you guys, this stuff is amazing. So I'll leave that link in the description too because I use this almost every single time I do a manicure. But you'll wanna go in first and go ahead and apply your base coat to all of the nails, okay? Next, you'll wanna go in and start with the application process of the tips. I normally start with the index finger and work my way down and then do my thumb for very last. So each extend gel, um, I found the amount that you use inside of the full cover tip is gonna depend on the viscosity of the gel. If it's thinner, um, you might have to apply a little bit more. If it's thicker, you'll probably apply a little bit less. This one's kinda in the middle. No, actually this is more on the thicker side. So I noticed with this, all I need is like one quick swipe at the bottom at the cuticle and then the nail is ready to go. So I'm gonna show you all that really quick. So that's the full cover tip. This is my index finger. And I literally just put this, well that's not enough, hold on. <laughs> I normally do it where it's like a bead. Okay, there we go. So I normally just put this much inside of the tip and that's enough to do the whole nail. And the first time I did it, I didn't think that would be enough, but it actually is. So I'm gonna show you all how I apply it. One of the things that I wanna make sure that I always do is turn this particular lamp on before I start anything because it does not have an on off button. So I don't wanna have to, when I finally get it positioned, come under and then not be able to get it in place where I wanted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lamp on. I found that it's really good to kind of start at the cuticle and then slowly allow all the gel to come forward. Once it reaches the tip, you go ahead and just slide it underneath the lamp. And you will hold it there for about maybe 10, 15 seconds. And so now that I'm looking at the nail underneath the lamp here, I noticed that I actually applied too much gel. You see how far up it came? on the nail, I actually apply it just a little bit too much. So a little bit goes a long way. That's all you have to do. So I'm normally one press of the button, I'm able to do about two or three nails because the process goes really quick. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my lamp on, apply a little bit of the extend gel to the inside of the tip, like so. Okay, and then start at the cuticle and work my way down and then cure. This is actually harder to do filming than it is to do in real life. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time here. Okay, so the thumb is the one that I normally have the most issues with. 
And someone pointed this out to me in one of my videos and I thought that was just such a great observation. My thumbnail is actually really flat and the curve of the actual tip is pretty steep. I have to apply enough extend gel to the inside of the tip to where it fills the whole thing up. So I actually on this nail, I do go ahead and kind of go over the etched area and then I just add really just extra product kind of to the middle just to make sure I have enough of that gel to fill it and then I slide off whatever's left. Now this might be too much and it might spew out the sides and that's fine because I can just clean it up. So again, you wanna turn the light on here and then here, let's see if I can get it here with you guys. Start at the cuticle, work my way down and I'm gonna just work really fast and go underneath the light like so. All right, so this is a mistake that I made here, right? So it looks like I didn't add enough product to the nail. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it off without peeling off my peel off face coat. And I was able to. So now I'm gonna go in and just add more of that extend gel. I did not add enough to the nail. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. I have to really fill this nail up like a lot because I don't have a curve at all to my thumb. Let's see if I have enough here. This should be enough now. And I'm gonna try that one more time. Okay. So again, I'll flip over. There we go, that's enough and then we cure. For my thumbnail, I actually keep this one under here for the full 60 seconds. And the reason I do that is because I have to add, I have to add so much gel to the nail, to the inside of the tip, that if I, I find that when I try to release it any earlier than that, that sometimes, um, you know, it separates because the glue isn't, isn't cured enough. So this lamp is only so powerful, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this under here for a little bit longer. Now all of the tips have been applied. Okay, and you see there's a lot of spillage on a lot of the nails. That's okay, I'm gonna show you all how to clean that up. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds at my big LED lamp. Now that the tips have been fully cured, um, I'm gonna go in and show you all how to clean up around this cuticle area. You see the glue got, the gel got cured to like the outside of the tip here. So yeah, but overall, this application was really good. I don't have any air bubbles except for maybe this really tiny one over here, right? But the rest of them look really good. So I'm not too concerned about the air bubble because like I said, I'm gonna be popping this set off. But if you all are doing this and you wanted the last, you know, two, three plus weeks, you wanna make sure you don't have any air bubbles at all whatsoever. And if you do have air bubbles, try to make sure they're like in the center of the nail and like kind of fully um, encapsulated in a sense. So this one, because it is close to the edge, right, um, water and things like that can get underneath the nail and cause it to pop off. So again, for me, it's not a big deal because I'm popping these off, but if you all are wanting to wear this for longevity, that's something you wanna um, keep in mind. But all the rest of them actually apply beautifully, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with my drill. I just put this new sanding band on. This is just a little tip so that you all do not cut yourselves. You just wanna go through and just kinda like file. You wanna go through and just file the edges of this band so that it's not so sharp and you don't cut yourself. So I'm just gonna kinda go through and do that to the sanding band. Next, you'll go ahead and just turn it on and start working on these cuticles, y'all. So before I do this, one thing that I like to do is like pull the skin away from the gel, right? So that the gel is kind of just not on my skin so that when I'm filing, I'm less likely to just like file and kind of nick myself. So you'll want to go through and just pull your skin back away from the gel. I, I even try to lift it up a little bit so that it's really easy to just file away. That there is all of the cuticle work that I've done so far and removing all of the gel from the nail. I'm gonna go through with my buffer here. Um, this is also a new buffer that I'm using, so I'm gonna go through and just season it so that, again, these edges aren't too sharp and I don't cut myself. So then I normally take the softer side of the buffer and I just go through and just buff the surface of the nail just to take away the shine. And I really like to make sure I get up in the cuticle area and get the shine as well. So by doing that, it also gets rid of any gel that may have spewed out around the cuticle area that you might not have been able to get with your e-file 
or your drill. So I just like to kind of go up in those crevices with this buffer and just smooth it out as much as I can. And for the gel here that's still kind of on the nail, I actually don't worry about that. So my goal with removing any gel that spewed out isn't necessarily to remove it all together, but it's to get it flat enough on the nail so that when I apply my uh, color on top of it, it, there's not like an uneven surface. So you see here, there's still actually a little bit of gel product on the nail. I'm okay with that. Again, I just wanna make sure it is smooth and kind of flush to the nail. So that's what I'm doing here. If I feel like there's anything else I still want to get a little bit flatter, I'll just go in with my file and use that to get it a little bit flatter as well, like so. Alrighty, so she is looking good to me, you guys. So typically these full cover tips have like a tab at the end. This one didn't really come with one. I'm just going to go through anyway on each side, just kind of crisping up that look here. Yeah, y'all, the nails are all ready to go. So this is how you apply your full cover jelly tips. If you wanna do the A-Press jelly tip method, the nail glue tip method, Kiara Sky jelly tip, gel X dupe, A-Press dupe, whatever you wanna call it. Um, that method of applying jelly tips, this is how at least I apply my full cover tips. And I do, like I said, typically get them to last for about two to three weeks. I think the longest I've ever had to sit last was three weeks. And so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you all have any questions or if you need uh, further clarification on anything or maybe I missed something. I'll be happy to answer any questions. This is definitely one of my favorite ways to do my nails these days. I'm a gel product kind of girl. And so when they came out with this, I was like obsessed with it. The first um, kit I ever reviewed on my channel was the Beatles kit and that thing is phenomenal absolutely love it i've since tried the gelling kit i tried the one from double dip bella vena so i'll leave all those reviews linked down in the description box so if you all want to check them out you can if you all want to know details on this beautiful design i am going to leave this tutorial linked in the description as well this set actually glows in the dark you guys I absolutely love how this turned out i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was helpful in some way shape or form i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular on my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye